Hey guys, so this is the um, Airblade UAV Eclair V2 frame. Uh, it's for two and a half inch props here. I'm using the Rotorex 2535 props, four bladed um, setup with the Emax um, RS 1106, and these are the uh, 6000 KV versions. Um, I was running this on 2S and 3S, and I'll have some flight demo video at the end of the video here. Running a Micro Swift camera. I love this camera, and this frame is built specifically for the Micro Swift. The uh, video transmitter I'm using is the uh, Eosheen VTX-03, and it's, uh, it's currently set to 200 milliwatts. I'm just using a linear whip antenna. The uh, receiver is the Flysky FS-A8S. Just got my antenna sticking out of the bottom there. And the uh, power cube flight controller EC is the HGLRC uh, XJB. I think this is the uh, F3. Two five, so it's a it's an F3 board um, with a 25 amp 4 in 1 ESC, and uh, this does not have an OSD. This is um, I think it's uh, the fl uh, flight controller software on here. The target is the Pico BLX on here. I am running uh, D Shot 600. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of my beta flight settings at the end, and also have a CLA dump at the uh, uh, in the description. Um, let's see what else here. I've got a buzzer there. I'm using an XT30 connector and just got my rubber bands here for mounting the battery. I think the best battery for this is going to be either um, a 2S650 or um, a, a 3S550. Those are the batteries I, I thought were pretty good. I, th I thought the 3S650 was a little too heavy. Um, overall this is a pretty heavy frame because these motors are really beefy. And um, they do run a little bit warm. I tried to change my motor timing. It didn't really make much difference. Um, they don't run super hot where you can't hold your finger to them, but yeah, they run pretty warm, especially on 3S, so just be aware of that. I think it has to do with the fact that this is kind of heavy, so let me just show you how much this thing weighs. Okay, so this is the uh, all-up weight without the battery, and it's coming in at uh, 89 grams here, so that's fairly heavy for this setup. And so this is a pretty uh, beefy frame. Uh, two and a half millimeter bottom plate, and these side plates are like about one and a half to two millimeters somewhere in there. So very very strong. It's going to be very durable in crashes. Um, yeah, I don't I don't I don't foresee any issues with uh, durability uh, unless you're run, running this into the ground with uh, like into concrete at, at full speed. In terms of the camera mounting, it's pretty simple. You got a little one screw here, adjustable back and forth, and also for your angle, so you can get pretty um, severe uh, camera tilt if you wanted. But uh, this was pretty good for me. This is about 25 degrees, and the camera is very well protected by the carbon uh, sides, and uh, they don't show up in the camera view, so which is which is pretty good. So I'm kind of liking a lot of these frames are coming out with this design that are designed for the MicroSwift. I think you're gonna see more of these on the channel pretty soon. In any event, I'll go ahead and I'll roll some flight footage for you, a little bit of 2S and 3S flights. And um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.